Hello everyone, Samuel here. Welcome to the short video series where we are playing with the Cisco NSO. In this second part, I'm going to show you how to get and start the simple ITO application and how to integrate it with the Cisco NSO we started in the first part of this series. As before, this video can be also found in a text format on our company blog. The link is in the description. If you come from the SDN world, you probably heard about the Open Daylight platform, or in short ODL. And if you ever played with it, you encountered Apache Caraf. It's a polymorphic application container powered by OSGI that provides a lot of nice features. On the paper, they sound great, but in reality, it's quite cumbersome. Especially for microservice architecture or for simpler use cases. If you want to learn more about Caraf, check links in the description. In the last years, development under Caraf became easier, but for us, it was still not enough. We wanted something lightweight, customizable and microservice ready, with smaller memory footprint, faster build times, easier testing, short time to market and much better learning curve. So we took the Open Daylight code as a dependency, not a fork, and initialized all useful services in a way that meets all of our requirements. And then Lightio was born. We do not use any heavyweight frameworks, mostly just pure Java, so everything is pretty simple and does exactly what you see in the code. But enough of the introduction, it should be clear to everybody now that Lightio is just great. If you want to learn more about it, as always, links are in the description. For this video, we will need to have the Cisco NSO with simulated devices started. We did this in the first video in this series. If you didn't see it yet, I suggest you check it out. Next, we will need some standard developer tools like Java 11, Git, Maven, Unzip, Nano or other text editor and something for executing REST requests. I'll be using the Postman application, but feel free to use any REST client of your preference, even CLI if you feel like a sadist today. Regarding an operating system, I'm using the MATE distribution of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS release. Core parts of Lightio were open sourced some time ago, so the code can be downloaded from our GitHub repository. To do that, execute the git clone command and move into the repository. Check out the release of your preference. I'll be using the latest release in the time of creating this video, 12.1.0, which corresponds to the Magnesium SR1 ODL release. In this video, we will use existing Lightio example application called lightycommunityrestcom.conf app. It's located in the Lighty examples directory. It stars three major Lightio modules, Lighty controller, netconf southbound plugin and restconf northbound plugin. Before we build it, we need to enable the EDDSA cryptography algorithm, which is used by Cisco NSO 5.3 version. To enable it, open POM XML file in the example application directory and add this dependency. Now we can build it using this Maven clean install command. It will build only the application and will skip tests to save some of our precious time. After the build is complete, zip distribution with all necessary files and dependencies should be located in the Lighty examples Lighty Community Rest Conf app target directory. Now unzip it and we are ready to start it. I'm going to unzip it in the same target directory as it is located in. To start the application, run its jar file using java jar command. After a few seconds, you should see in the console a log that the application is started. Right now, besides the Lightio application we just started, we should have the Cisco NSO instance running with three simulated devices C0, C1 and C2. Default Lightio RESTConf port is 8888 and the NSO NetConf port is 2022. All is running on our local machine on localhost. It's time to execute some REST requests. I'm going to use the Postman application I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Postman comes with a handy feature called Collections. In them, one can store and share multiple REST requests. I created a collection for this video, so feel free to use it. Link to download is in the description. At first, we need to connect the NSO to the Lightio application by executing put NSO node request from the collection. It will put connection information about the NSO in the configurational data store of the Lightio application. URL points to the node we are going to add with node ID NSO in the network topology with ID topology netconf. 
In the payload is again the node ID specified and other parameters as host, port, username and password. To check if the NSO node was connected successfully, execute get request on the same URL or the get NSO node request from the collection. Here we should see some information about NSO, including its capabilities and the connection status. The connection status should be connected. When the connection is established, we can activate the NSO service we created in the first video, the ACL service. To activate it, we need to put service configuration to the NSO data store using the freshly created netconf mount point. To write to the device using a mount point, the first part of the URL must point to the netconf node where we want to write, so it will be the same as request before. The second part contains these magic words, yang ext mount, which define that we want to access the mount point, and after them follows the path to the configuration on the device that we want to use. In this case, we are going to write to the node with ID NSO in the topology topology netconf and the path where we want to put service configuration is services, ACL service and ID myACL. The payload of this service is modeled in the Yang model we created in the first video during the service creation. It contains parameters such as the name of the service, direction, ID of the service or interface type. After executing this request, our service should be activated. To check it via the restconf, execute get request on the same URL or get ACL services request from the collection to get the service information. We should see their data that we wrote in the previous request and a list of devices that were modified. To check if the configuration was really pushed into the NSO, we can do it through the NSO CLI. Log into it using command NCS CLI and execute this show configuration command. In the output, we should see the ACL service that we wrote. And that's it. We successfully started the LightIO application and activated the NSO service through the RESTConf and NETCONF protocols. In the next video, we will do the same thing as with the LightIO application, but with the SDNC component from ONAP and its directed graphs. So stay tuned and have a nice day!